kau mama kita awa, ko piwa ko aku te maunga, ko te faka marahara tanga te marae, ko wel na kuri wa hau. I have lived there for about 20 years, but was brought up on stories of our family. I've come back and lived on our um, Papakainga, our Māori land, and uh, it's been a really interesting and fulfilling and challenging and uh, sort of wonderful journey. And I feel very privileged to have been able to spend this time here. I guess as a small boy growing up away from here, but you know, being constantly told stories of what life was like from my father's point of view, you know, Second World War, a lot of people still living home, functioning communities in marae, kai gardens. Uh, I remember coming home and thinking, oh, it's very different. There's hardly any people. Where is everybody? And then realising that the, the, the few kaumatua that left were a tangible connection to that other time. And so I think it's been, it's been that, being able to be home and listen to people's stories that's really, what do they say there? Call it your ukai po, you know, your place where you, you suckle at the breast, where you get your nourishment from. So as an artist, it's where I get my nourishment. And the other thing is, you know, the, the flora and fauna, the plants, the weather is all uniquely this place. So. As someone who can fuck papa to this place, it's my, you know, it's the centre of my universe. I love the place. It's home.